Hey, Arnett. Hey, I care. Rachel's over there. Hey. Um, we meant to do this video a long, long time ago, but we've been tired and busy, and we don't really care. Um, we're finally <laughs> <laughs> we're finally getting back to talking Harry Potter, and I think we are on number four, which is I can't read that because I'm blind. Uh, Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. Don't know when this came out, but it will be in the description. We discuss plot spoilers, all that. Came crap. out in the two thousands. That helps a lot. I know, you know, I thought so. I do my part. Yeah, wow, thanks. Um, <laughs> if I can remember, Rachel might have to help me with this one. Plot of this one is, what is it, what did I say, Goblet of Fire? Harry is illegally chosen to be in some type of... Yeah, they do like Olympic a... Olympic Games or yeah, something like that? Yeah, they do like a Olympic Games of some sort. Um, and they, I think they said that you had to be 17... Right. Or older. Right, and he's and not... And they were... I think Harry was like 14, is what they said. And somehow he got picked, even though he didn't enter himself. Right. I'm trying to remember who and, put him uh, in there. And uh, three different tasks. You get the Goblet of Fire, whatever that is. Mm -hmm. Um, And then Voldemort comes back. Hilarity ensues. <laughs> um, I really liked this one. I was surprised how dark it got. Mm -hmm. Um, I like how it started when they're all at that Quidditch game. Yeah. And I don't know if it's the, whatever they're calling it. I call them the Death Dealers. I don't know if that's what they're really called. The Grim Reaper people. people. <laughs> yeah. Pe <laughs> purple people eaters. <laughs> yeah. The Grim Reapers, they show up and they burn everything to the ground. That's really cool. <laughs> yeah. See, this is what I'm dealing with. Um, it's late. We're fucking tired. Um, so that was really cool. So it starts off really dark already. And what I really like about this, again, all the acting is good. Danny Radcliffe is good. Hermione, what's your face is good. Mm -hmm. Ron looks like a freak, but he's okay. He's, he doesn't do Ron face as much. Right, but now but he goes from Ron, I poop my pants face, to Ron, because him and, him and Harry have like a little problem. They, they have a falling out. So he goes yeah. from looking like he pooped his pants to like looking like you know he just broke up with his girlfriend when he has a fight with harry right but he's okay um i will say this this is the first movie we have with the new dumbledore because i guess the original actor died i like this dumbledore better mm. because he doesn't just seem like a you know boring old man this guy actually mm -hmm. has like <laughs> as bad as it sounds because the last actor died he actually has life in his performance <laughs> Because you know? the other guy just seemed bored to be there, and this guy's actually animated He's, and does stuff. He was um, old and dying, so right. Um, <laughs> dying hurts. Uh, what's his face? Ray, Ray Fiennes as um, Voldemort is actually really creepy in this. I like him with the ghost people. That's what I call him. Oh, okay. Well, anyways, I, I like him. I can because, like I said, I think I've said before, the next movie is the last one I've seen, so I don't know how Voldemort's going to be. At least with this movie here, it seems like he's going to be a really good villain. Um, mm -hmm. Snape's in it for five minutes. The old lady from Hook, she's in it for like two minutes. Um, Warwick Davis is in it for like 30 seconds. But overall, the performances are pretty good. I do like the part where all the other wizards and uh, girls or whatever, the witches, come mm -hmm. and... They're all basically at Hogwarts getting mm -hmm. ready to do the battle, all the different schools. Mm -hmm. And I like how the one giant lady comes in and instantly Hagrid's like, oh, a woman. Yeah, she's finally <laughs> someone who can finally handle me, you know? <laughs> yeah. Okay, there, there's one problem. The characters I like that are not the kids are hardly in it. I, I, want more, I wanted more Hagrid. Mm -hmm. I mean, I understand we're going to focus more on the kids as the movie goes on because of um, Voldemort. I wanted more Hagrid. I wanted more mm -hmm. Snape. I, that's about it. I don't care yeah. about the other ones. Um, I wanted more Gary Oldman. Gary Oldman like is literally in this for like 10 seconds, and I think he's like a talking picture in a newspaper. Yeah. Rip off. But overall, the performances are good. Um, what's his face? Twilight Kid. Robert Pattinson. Mm -hmm. He's actually decent in this. He plays like a rival in, um, uh, I guess, the Goblet of Fire games or whatever you say. Mm -hmm. And uh, he's actually really good. He, he's kind of a jerk, but he's kind of like a likable jerk. He's not like Malfoy. Right, right. He's not... He doesn't more 
in a kind of a kidding manner. Yeah, he, he he's he, not. He picks right. on Harry, but he's not trying to be like an asshole. Right. Um, the performances are good. Um, the special effects have definitely gotten a lot better, especially since the first movie. Um, I like the things that they have to do for like the Goblet of Fire games. I like when Harry has to steal. He has to steal like an egg from a dragon. Mm -hmm. That's neat. Um, excuse me. When he's got to go underwater, and I think he's got to rescue like Hermione or something from like fish people. That's yeah. pretty neat and creepy. And then I really like when they're like in that hedge maze. It, it kind of reminded me a little bit of The Shining. Yeah, but it's I like really that creepy part. because it's like all full of fog and and. Mysterious. And they close up behind. I think in some parts they close up behind the hedges. They might. I don't remember that, but the the creativity for. The games was really good. Mm -hmm. um, I mentioned how dark it was. I knew it was going to happen, but the fact when... Uh, well, I've already said spoilers, so who fucking cares? When uh, Twilight Boy, he dies. Voldemort. It's Voldemort that kills him, right? Right. That was... It's still pretty it's shocking to see, even though I know it's coming. Because, you know, you think Harry Potter, you think, you know, fairies and you know, house elves and all this bullshit. And well, and it's starting to get more... Dark. Adult themed. Right. And you generally think Harry Potter, okay, kind of a kid's movie. You don't expect a kid kill. to be murdered. Yeah. He's not just, it's not like an accidental death. You see him like purposely. killed on screen. Right. <laughs> and that's what makes me get more and more interested in Voldemort as a character because he doesn't give a shit. If he's willing to kill kids at a school, he's willing to kill anybody. Mm -hmm. And that's what makes him a good villain. Um, I do like the introduction of the new dark arts teacher, the the weird fat dude with like the robotic eyeball. Oh yeah, he's his, look, his look, his <laughs> look, his look is neat. I think is cool. I think he's cool. I think he's gross. Um, yeah, this movie was a lot of fun. I was surprised how much I liked it. Moni Myrtle still sucks. She's annoying yeah, when know. she tries to, especially when she tries to molest Harry in the bathtub. And then you find out how old she really was. I don't care when about. She made that movie. She I don't was care like, about that. She was like almost forty. Yeah, well, and Dan, he's like Daniel, twelve. No, Daniel Radcliffe was like pushing eighteen, twenty or something. No, wow, well, whatever. Anyway, anyways, it was it was weird. She sucks. I've never liked her. She's annoying. Um, I think that's the point. She's supposed to be annoying. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. What else? I I I like that Neville. You just like Neville. I do love Neville. I. I like that he didn't really have a whole lot of speaking roles, but his presence was known, and you knew that like he was kind of coming out of his shell a little bit, and I liked that. I and don't remember. Kind of no? No. Um, oh. Like, you see him dancing before the dance. He's trying okay. to learn his dance. I'll say that. Dan, and, go ahead, finish your, what you're no, going to say. No, he's just, you see him trying to learn the dance and trying to impress the girl that he takes that ends up being... Um, Ron's younger sister. Okay. So, I mean, it's just... Okay. I think it's kind of sweet. That's... Uh, I totally forgot about that. If there's anything I don't like about this movie, it's they have to do, you know, the hormone stuff, you know. Let's go uh, out on a date. Let's go to the dance. Ron Ron gets mad because Harry won't take him to the dance. You know, that's, <laughs> no, that's... I mean, it's, it's a kid's movie. Kids are going to need to go dance and you know yeah. diddle each other and stuff like that they don't diddle each other stop it you know what i mean though they have to get that type of stuff in yes. the movie and i didn't give a shit about it you know for for chicks like rachel who like that stuff it's there it serves a purpose it's not overly done but i think there's too much on it because tone wise as we've already seen how dark and evil this mm -hmm. entry is going to be because like i said it starts off with um the Grim Reaper things destroying the Quidditch game. The purple people leaders. Sure, <laughs> you know it's you're in for some uh, some dark stuff, and then you know we got them dancing around and no one cares. Right. But overall, I don't know if I liked this one more, The Prisoner of Azkaban. Was that the one? Yeah, because that one had a lot of Gary Oldman, and mm -hmm. I liked him a lot. I liked that whole story. This one's still really really good. The only, like I said, I didn't like the the kitty stuff with the going to the the prom or whatever. But performances are great. Better Dumbledore. Um, Voldemort is really really cool. I like his look. Like he looks kind of like a a skeleton. 
because you know he's got no nose and everything, but he's still just got like a, le a real thin layer of skin on. He looks really off and creepy, and mm -hmm. I like him. Um, real dark. You don't. Or I don't know where the movie's gonna go, where the series is gonna go, but uh, they're gonna kill kids. I can't wait to see what's gonna happen next. So very excited for part five. Even though I remember not really liking it that much, but uh, anyways, anything else you got to say about this one? I said all the thing I think I wanted to say. All right. I'm going to say it for the next one because Luna, Luna comes in to the next one and she's fun. Who's Luna? Luna Lovegood. She's mm -hmm. fun. She's kind of, woo, kind of spacing out there. Okay. I know how, I know how on the bottom Carter comes in and you don't like her. You just think she looks weird, mm -hmm. but I like her as an actress. I know she plays a villain, so I'm excited about that. She's um, not a bad actress. She just. That's why Tim Burton been married her for a while. Anyways, with that, I'm very excited to see where this goes. Um, comment below, like, subscribe, all that crap. Um, and we'll see you again in two months when we finally get off our butts and watch the next movie and <laughs> talk about it. Cheers.